Today is an exciting day for Linux enthusiasts. Nitrux 3.90, codenamed PD, is here with fresh updates, performance improvements, and better hardware support. In this video, we'll break down everything new in this release, from major software updates to power management changes and enhanced security features. Let's dive in. Major highlights. Nitrux 3.90 brings a host of updates to ensure a better user experience. The codename PD marks the transition from TLP to Power Profiles Daemon for power management, making it easier for users to adjust power settings directly from Plasma's battery and brightness panel. This release also strengthens security. The Secure Boot Chain Loading Bootloader has been updated, and Nitrux now includes its own SB Manager utility allowing users to create machine owner keys MOK for secure boot, software, and kernel updates. As always, Nitrux keeps up with the latest software. Here are some major updates in this version. Firefox is now at version 132.0.2. OpenRC has been updated to version 0.56 for better system management. Flatpak has been bumped to version 1.16.0, improving app sandboxing. Mesa 3D Graphics Library is now at version 24.3.4, enhancing GPU performance. The NVIDIA Display Driver has been updated to version 5.7.0.86.16 for better gaming and graphic-intensive workloads. Pipewire and WirePlumber are now on their latest versions, improving audio management in Linux. For Intel and AMD users, new processor microcode firmware is included for better hardware compatibility and security. Additionally, the AMD Open Source Vulkan driver is now at version 2024Q43, improving gaming and graphics rendering. Improved hardware support. Nitrux 3.90 introduces enhanced hardware support, making it more compatible with modern devices. Some key improvements include fingerprint authentication, now supported in SDDM and Plasma for seamless logins, touchpad enhancements, New settings apply to a wider range of touchpad devices. AX88179 underscore 178. A USB 3.0 Ethernet adapter support for faster wired networking on modern laptops. XR glasses. Support automatic recognition of supported XR headsets. Performance optimizations and kernel tweaks. Performance has been a key focus in this release. Several kernel boot parameters have been revised to improve efficiency, such as page table isolation, helps mitigate meltdown vulnerabilities. AMD preferred core functionality, ensures tasks run on the best performing CPU cores. Kernel stack offset randomization fixes, improves memory security. Linux security modules, consolidation, better integration of AppArmor, Yama, BPF, and landlock security features. These changes collectively lead to a faster, more secure and optimized system, making Nitrux an excellent choice for Linux users. New additions and removals. Along with new features, some elements have been removed for a more streamlined experience. Notable removals include TLP power management tools, replaced by Power Profiles Daemon, NVIDIA Prime Scripts, now replaced by NV Control and optimized ZSH configurations, outdated processor microcode, removed to ensure users always have the latest firmware. Additionally, a new Optimus GPU switcher widget has been introduced, allowing easy switching between integrated and discrete GPUs on NVIDIA Optimus laptops. Bug fixes and improvements. Every release comes with bug fixes, and Nitrux 3.9.0 is no exception. Some key fixes include Bluetooth stability improvements, no more random disconnections, VirtualBox compatibility fixes, ensures it works seamlessly with the updated KVM module. Plasma Wayland Task Manager, fix, restores window thumbnails. Audio fixes for Intel SOF firmware devices. No more sound issues on modern Intel machines. Final thoughts, Nitrux 3.9.0 is a polished, feature-packed release with better security, performance, and usability. Whether you're a gamer, developer, or everyday user, this version delivers a refined Linux experience. That's it for today's update. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux content. Let me know in the comments what you think of Nitrux 3.9.0 and whether you'll be upgrading. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody, and don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. 
So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.